if you had watched the previous two videos about the authentication process in the Django, in today's video we are going to send the messages uh, with the proper error messages from the uh, login and sign up process. We are also activating the sign up process in this tutorial. So pay attention. Here uh, you can see if we uh, try to log in, it will give us a proper uh, toast with the login successful welcome back. So for that we are using a toast library and we are logging out. Let's try to uh, log in with a fake credentials. It will say that invalid username or password. So that's how it is sending a message to the front end and front end is delivering that message in a toast form. And uh, when we come back to the sign up process, we also had activated uh, the sign up process. And if you try to sign up with uh, some previous user and uh, the user is already exist with that name, it will say that username, this username is already taken. Please choose a different username. So that's a proper information about the sign up process and let's say uh, we try to uh, use uh, some new username but we give a weak password it will tell us that password is too common so we need to change the password before we try to sign up okay let's uh, say uh, we choose um, a good password uh, but we provide uh, the different one so the two password fields did not match so these are the proper form validations and the error messages we received so let's uh, try to register a new user and uh, let's see what happened if we register with the proper credentials and uh, let's sign up and it will say sign up successful and welcome so and uh, if you may wonder why the toast is available in login sign up and home page this is because we are extracting uh, the base dot uh, html template if you had viewed my previous videos you may notice that we are doing this in the base dot html file and yes we are catching all of the messages in the base.html so that's how it is available to all of the pages in a login a sign up and a home page so in this case we are using this uh, toaster uh, css file and toaster js file we also need a jquery in this case we are using jquery 3.6.0 uh, you can use uh, whatever works for you and that's how simple we can implement uh, those toast messages. So what we need to do is we are just iterating over the messages. And if any messages exist, we create a for loop on that in the template, Django template engine. And we extract the tags of the message type and what type of message, ma message text is available. So we are extracting these two informations. Then we are building an options value for the toaster. And we say that yes, the close button is available, should be available. And yes, the progress bar should be true. And the position class toss bottom right. So that's why it is available in this position. And show method is slide down. So that's how it will be available. And the timeout is five seconds. So uh, 5,000 mean five, uh, five, uh, millis 5, milliseconds, which is five seconds. And if the message type is success, uh, we show a toasters of success if the type is error we show an error type of toaster and if it is info we show an info toaster and else we are just showing a warning uh, toaster so that's how we are dealing with the toaster in our uh, Django application the next thing we need to do is to look into the views we created for sending the messages for that reason we have a package from Django this is a Django country package from the messages section and what we are doing we are just validating if the form is valid and we just authenticate the user and you said yet that message dot success so that's how we can send 
a message to our front end. We pass the request and any information we want to send as a message. And we will send uh, when we want to show an error kind of message. We just uh, say, say messages dot error. So that's how we can send the messages. Uh, coming back to the sign up view, here we are extracting the user creation form uh, with a custom user creation form just to indicate a proper error messages. That's how you can pass uh, by subclassing the meta class of user creation form and you can provide your own error messages. So we provided the username. We provided the username is already taken. Please choose a different username and password mismatch error kind of error. So how we attach these errors? We uh, create a custom user form and we try to validate this form. If the form is valid, we, uh, we save this as a user. Then we log in that user and we uh, show the message that sign up is successful and welcome. And we redirect that user to the home page. Otherwise, we are patching every item of the errors in the form in kind of fields and errors and for every error in the errors we iterate over a loop and show the messy dog error uh, with the field capitalized uh, and column and then the error message if you don't want to show uh, this field here you can remove this one from here and otherwise if any exception occurs we are also giving the message of the sign up process is failed otherwise we create a form if the uh, if the request type is get we simply renders a form so that's how we handle the sign up process and uh, sending the messages uh, from the back end to the front end and uh, how we handle uh, the messages in form of toast in the front end. If you want to um, show the message in some kind of list other than the toast, you can simply uh, use uh, this for loop inside anywhere in your HTML template and you can uh, override the front end the way you want. So that's all for this video. See you in the next one.